He said, Sean, ever since we've had that there electricity in the house, I've never seen nothing like it. Pearl got a thing in yonder called a refrigerator. You put whatever your mind into it and it had to keep it cold. Meat, butter, eggs, it don't matter. It'll it stay cold. Got me some water running right up here in my house. Don't have to go out to the well in a spring or pull up any water anymore. So I said, that's all right. You know, I said, he kept right on telling him. He said, yeah, God. He said, I've got a bathroom right here in my house now. I don't have to go out in the middle of the night. That's yonder to the toilet or anything. And, and, and I've got a stove in yonder. It'll, it'll build a fire by itself. You just turn the button, it'll start one. He said, I've never seen that now. And, it, and Uncle Gene said, Mr. Parson, he said, you know, Cheryl, I, I'm getting old and I can't get around like I used to at all. But uh, Cheryl has got, you know, said, she's got that door fixed in yonder to that bathroom. Pearl has to, when I open the door of a night time, the light will come on by itself. And uh, Cheryl said, my word, I have never hear telling nothing like that. Now, you could hear everything being said, the old window lights up in that old, old wood house down there in the mountains. And, uh, the women folk heard all this, and Miss Farley, she said, Pearl, how did you, uh, how did you read up something like that? Well, Jean get up in the middle of the night and turn, go down there and open the door to the bathroom, the light will come on by itself, and uh, Miss Farley, she said, young man, don't you pay that old toot no attention. Now, see now, old geezer is getting up in the middle of the night, half drunk, going in yonder and peeing in my refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 